everyone, it's Nicole over at Darn Good Yarn. And uh, in this video, I'm just gonna show you how to make a really easy God's eye out of some sticks in the woods. And the little background noise that you're hearing is my daughter, Anna, and my husband, uh, they're playing. But I found two sticks in the woods and I just use um, one ball of my recycled chiffon uh, sorry ribbon that you can get on my website at darngoodyarn.com. Um, I love using this ribbon because it winds up just changing on you all on its own. So this is something I made last night. It took me, I don't know, like maybe 30, 45 minutes to make. And you can see the sticks here. I just got these from uh, my backyard, but you can use really any sticks that you want. Just make sure that when you're collecting the sticks, they don't need to be super thick, um, unless you're gonna make a much larger one that's gonna support, support a lot of yarn but um, you don't want them to be wet. And I say that because you're gonna be dealing with rot issues then. So you wanna do like a little bend test first to make sure they're okay. And then get them about the same size. You don't have to worry if they're like super straight. I wouldn't get them like really crooked, um, but that might actually be a cool effect. So I guess you can play with that. Um, you can also, so I'm using two sticks. You can actually add like multiple sticks and you can play with doing patterns where you skip um, twist around each stick, but I'll show you that later in uh, later on in this video. So let me show you what to do first. I'm just going to grab my yarn here. So I have my yarn starts rolling all over the place because I left my yarn bowl downstairs in my house. Um, but you know, we have to keep it authentic, right? Because I never have all the craft supplies I need at one time. The only other thing you need, so you need some yarn, you need your scissors and that's like really it. There's not, this is a very low tech project. I also have my wine. So a lot of my crafting, um, especially with the world being crazy, has just been, um, I don't know, drinking and trying to like zen out for a little bit. Mm. Thank you. And then my husband just came in from the sidelines with one of my small yarn bowls. So that's perfect. Thank you, Michael. And here we go. So I have two sticks here and I'm going to just point the camera down so you can see what's going on. All I'm doing is, and I'm not even using a knot, um, is you're taking the yarn, I'm placing it on top, and I'm just simply wrapping it from here to here. Let me show you, from here to here. So I'm gonna do that a lot of times, and then I'm gonna turn it, and I'm gonna go from here to here. And what that's going to do, like you do it like between five and 10 times on each side, um, and that will just secure the sticks together. And you want them to make a cross at the end of it. And you know, I really, I kind of fell onto this I had a lot of um, sample cards at my house of the yarn that I carry on the website. And I was like, oh, how do I use these? And I was trying to do um, some punch needle with them. And you know, so it's, it's always just like a little bit, it's always a little test. And um, I was like, oh, I don't really like the way this looks. So I took it out. So I just had a whole bunch of scrap yarn. And then I was, I, I remembered making God's eyes in camps as a little kid. And so now I'm gonna turn it cause I've have, I have a couple of wraps here. And I did it and I actually made one. It's on my Instagram account. You can see it. it uh, my Instagram is at Nicole Snow, um, S-N-O-W. And I was so happy with, um, with how it came out because it was just this really nice, easy project. And it really displayed like this really exotic yarn so nicely. So here you go. So that's the center now. That's secure. It's not going anywhere. And now let me show you what you're going to do next. And again, you're going to hear my daughter. She's playing drums in the background. So we're going to be serenaded potentially. She's three. So you know how that goes. I don't even try to like hide it anymore. Like we're just going to go for it. So now I have the yarn secure. And what you're going to do is the important thing is, is to know. Oh, now she's getting wild. So um, the important thing to know is you just want to keep going in the same direction. So you can put the project down, but just know that like I usually work counterclockwise and I just turn you're just moving like every turn you do is going to be one stick so you'll see so you're going to go on top of the stick and I'm going to get close to the camera you're going to go on top of the stick and you're going to go under just once and so it comes back on top again and then you're just going to turn to your next stick and you're going to go on top go under once and then just turn your stick Turn to the next stick and you're gonna go on top and then go underneath once and then turn to the next stick. And as you start to move around, you'll, you'll pick up speed, but um, this is all about relaxing. And especially in this weird time in 
our world's history, it's, it's time. It's like, it's good to self care. It's good to remember the things that make us human. There's so often times when we don't actually get to touch things that are even nature made like wood. Um, and if you're going to use cotton yarn, using cotton yarns, like organic things. So you can see how that's starting to work up very nicely. Um, and this is kind of a nice way to reconnect to that. So you just go on top and you're going to keep, you're going to keep going around and around like that. And then, um, <laughs> Anna's playing with her music box, which is adorable. So now you see that I'm going to actually move to a project that I'm a little bit further ahead in. So you can see uh, a little bit more of this motion if it's not completely clear and that's okay. So I worked on this. This took me like maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes to make. And I didn't have, a, I don't have a lot of tension on the ribbon itself. You can use, um, you can use strips of like, if you have a sheet in your house and you've been like, okay, let me play with this. You could do like, you could dye it and then strip it and then make like strips of ribbon as well. If you don't have this ribbon in your house, I just really, I love the chiffon ribbon just because it does have like so much cool, like this one has like little glittery polka dots in it and some like cool florals baked in. And I, I just, I personally really love that. So now you can see here, I've worked this up a little bit more and I'm going over the top and then I'm wrapping around and then I'm just going to the next one. And there's a little bit of tension on the uh, ribbon itself just to make, make this taut. Um, but that's, that's really it. But that's why you want like strong ish branches that aren't like wet or they have decay or anything like that because they'll, they'll disintegrate while you're working on it or uh, they'll warp your project as well. I did one project and it, the branches were a little bit wet and my project kind of went like, whoop, and it's a little bit skewed and it doesn't lay flat on a wall. Um, you can hang these wherever you want. They're great little gifts as well. Because if someone doesn't even like, they can hang it in a guest bathroom. It's like a really beautiful multi-dimensional wall hanging. And I think the back is actually cool too, if you look at that. So you're just gonna keep doing this for as large as you want. You can go all the way out to the edges. And then let me show you as you work out to the edges, you'll get to, like I worked to the edge on this one and then I'm just gonna show you this is like really very basic um, for finishing. You could use glue to, to make an edge if you wanted, but it's not necessary. So say this is like my last wrap and um, I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm probably pushing the limits if I go all the way up to the tip here because you don't want the yarn to slide off or anything. So I did my wrap and then I just did um, half hitches on the edge here. So I'm just wrapping it around one more time and then I'm just tying a little knot and I'll do that. I'm kind of a little bit of a knot freak, so I'll probably do like, I don't know, five knots because I think the apocalypse is gonna happen and I don't want anything to happen to my handmade items. So there's that. And then you're set to go um, from that point. So you can rip that edge off and then it's all tightening. If you really wanted to, if you were afraid, like you're like, okay, I probably want to just put a little bit of glue. You could put like a little bit of hot glue on the knots and then secure it and then to hide the actual glue dot take the little bit extra yarn and cover it up over that to make a nice finished edge but from there you're you're set to go if you want to hang it um you can just pull back one of the pieces of yarn or you can um you can mount it from like one of these uh balance points here and play with that um, alternatively you can even put a cord between here and here um, and attach it with like maybe a small finishing nail and you're set. So um, I hope that you make a couple of these. I really, these are like really my favorite uh, things to make right now. I don't really have a lot of time, obviously with a three-year-old who plays drums um, and I have a lot of other things to do. So I kind of need just like quick projects that I get a little sense of fulfillment. It, I get a little bit of relaxation and it's like 30 minutes of freedom. And then I get to show off like my beautiful yarn. And if you ever maybe want to use the yarn, you could always take these out. It's not like this is a permanent thing. Um, and they are very easy to come out as well. So I hope you enjoy that. Um, if you have any questions, reach out to us here at darngoodyarn.com. Um, you can reach out to me always on Instagram at Nicole Snow or at my company at Darn Good Yarn as well. And we will see you later. Bye.